Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 favorite stoner scenes in film. That guy there looks like a quarter pounder, man. <laughs> Number 10, True Romance, Stoned Brad Pitt. Get this, Brad Pitt, not the romantic lead. Nope, you're not stoned, but he is for the whole movie. Well, they were here, and they said that they were going to go there, and they went. Though his role adds up to little more than a cameo, Brad's scenes are still pretty memorable, if only for his faux tough guy talk. Condescend me, man. Kill you, man. Number nine, due date, car ride. This road trip comedy sees an uptight Robert Downey Jr. paired with Zach Galifianakis for a long and eventful car ride. Their trip takes a twisted turn when Robert Downey Jr. falls asleep with a pot smoking Galifianakis at the wheel. Hey, out there on your own, sitting naked by the phone. Things get really weird when he wakes up in his hotbox Range Rover and sees that his travel buddy has transformed into a bear or something. And all this takes place to a Pink Floyd soundtrack, Natch. Number eight, Super Troopers, getting pulled over. You guys eating like, like a hundred bucks worth of pot yeah, and like 30 done, bucks worth of shrooms, man. Who's the man? A group of pot smoking teens driving up to Canada gets the bad trip of their lives when they enter the jurisdiction of a bunch of mischievous highway patrollers. They try to save themselves by tossing their weed out the window and forcing one unfortunate friend to try to eat the rest, but the fuzz is onto them. You smell something, rabbit? Fear. Number seven, half-baked, killer can fly. After discovering the best weed they've ever smoked, this weed is fantastic! Dave Chappelle and his gang decide to share the love with their dog. He it's likes it! Dog. Almost immediately, the dog jumps out the window and flies like Superman, but not before he gets a mean case of the munchies. Realistic, no. Classic, yes. Number six, road trip, the talking dog. Yes, another dog scene. The way Road Trip does it involves a young man and his friend's grandpa talking and smoking weed on the porch with their dog. What is my reason for living? Are you gonna pass that doobie or what? Aside from the typical pouring your heart out stuff and the occasional TMI moment from Grandpa, it's pretty nice. That is, until the dog reveals himself to be quite the misogynist. Hey Jack, have that bitch make me some blueberry pancakes. Number five, Pineapple Express, Government Experimentation. <laughs> In the opening prologue to this film, we learn how marijuana became illegal. The classified Item 9 is a mysterious substance being experimented with by the US government. Holy bejesus! One lucky test subject gets to be the guinea pig for this trial, but just ends up ruining it for everybody. I feel like a... like a slice of butter. Ah, great. Now I want pancakes. Get it out! Shout at the rooftops! This is great! Number 4. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle with a big bag of weed. While rescuing Harold from a racist police station, Kumar discovers a massive bag of confiscated weed. Flash forward to a touching story between a boy and his fat sack of chronic. Well, for the most part. Number three, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? Hmm. Okay, to be fair, this entire movie is one long stoner scene, but the Adrenochrome stands out from the rest as a truly nightmarish bad trip. A few drops from the little brown bottle are enough to make Hunter S. Thompson totally trip balls. This is one drug you definitely don't want to try, especially not in a pricey hotel room, or what's left of it. How long had I been lying there? All these signs of violence. What had happened? Number two, Reefer Madness, Marijuana Makes Kids Go Crazy. Back in 1936, this propaganda film tried to scare the population away from getting high. But to be honest, it resulted in some of the most unintentionally hilarious portrayals of stoners we've ever seen. Nothing beats the original. Number one, Up in Smoke. Is that a joint, man? The Enormous Joint. Was there ever any doubt? You really can't beat Cheech and Chong when it comes to weed. When we think of stoner movies, we automatically think of this duo and Chong's humongous joint, which he was saving for a special occasion. Not only is it outrageously oversized, but it's also made of unusual ingredients. Mostly Maui Wowie, man. Yeah? But it's got some Labrador in it. What's Labrador? It's dog shit. 